So, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to stage Matt Smith. <laughs> oh, Hello. 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 Hi, hi. Hello, boys. Well Hello. Can you hear me? Yes. yes. Thank you so much for turning up. I was, I, I, I thought, oh God, no one's going to come, <laughs> but you did. Hurrah! Yeah, they're all here. Um, how are you? I'm good, mate. Yeah, yeah, I'm really thrilled to be here. It's, yeah. uh, I am. So, um, Saturday, Easter Saturday. Easter Saturday. Series 7, Part B. Yes, the Bells of St John's. We're all, obviously, all, all of us are excited, incredibly excited. Do you, is it, is it a, a big moment for you to sit down and see it and watch it and see what an audience makes of it and see what yeah, we all think of it? Yeah, of course, because, I mean, I haven't seen a single frame yet. Haven't you? No, 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 I, I've, I've seen nothing. And I, uh, there's a screening on Friday morning. Yes. You can't? I'm, 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 yeah, You're I'm doing hosting the... that as well, sorry. Yeah, of course you are, all right, mate. Sorry. Well, I'll see... Have you seen it? You must have seen it. No, I haven't seen it yet, no. Any, no. any, any day now, they're going to send me some mysterious link, apparently. Yeah, yeah. and you've got to have a password to it and yeah, all yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I can't wait. And it's sort of... I think, I think Stephen watched James Bond... Yeah, and got and got slightly inspired by that, and it's oh. kind of action. Of, you know, there's a motorbike in it, and we go up the side of the shard yeah. and all that. And, and it's set in London in the present day. London present day, aliens in the Wi-Fi, um, <laughs> of course. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And wouldn't that just piss you off as well yeah. if it didn't work? Yeah. Um, and uh, I think it's going to be a, a cracker. Yeah. And don't you mention Twitter? In this episode, is that, there is, is a bit of Twitter. Twitter bashing goes on, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> which I know you like that because you're not a big fan of Twitter, are you? It's not that I'm not a big no. fan. I'm sort of. I I don't know. I feel. I don't know how I feel about it. I feel slightly intimidated about the whole thing, really. But right. I think it's interesting if the doctor's not a big fan. Yes. Because you know, yes. for someone who has this great mind, that if you know, modern technology and human modern technology sort of baffles him. Yeah. It's a bit like marriage, but why? <laughs> it's like. And he, women in general, girls. And girls, women, yeah. you know, yeah. yeah. Like, like River will flirt with him. He'll feel uncomfortable and then yeah. he'll just insult her. Yeah. Because, yeah. you know, it's... And I think with Twitter, he's just like, but why... What are you... What's the... Yeah. Um, but then, of course, he uses it, you know... Right. In many, many guises to save the world. Oh, that's good to see. Yeah. Okay. Can you remember in the 11th hour? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yes, indeed. Yeah. yeah. Um, now, we've seen you and Jenna Louise Coleman kissing... Yes. To start. Talking Whoa. Good. Yeah. Um, so is there, I mean, what, how would you describe, I mean, the relationship, she's such a mysterious figure. She's dying all the time. She's coming back to life. She's, yeah. you know, all this is happening. Yeah. She's changing personality. Yeah. Do, you, do we have a more, of a is, is, is she fixed to a certain type of person in this second part of the series? Well, we meet the modern day version of her in Bells. Um, but of course, what, what I think is lovely about the journey that we go on is that I think she's sort of reignited his curiosity in the universe and the world, and it's given him something. And there's that, there's that beat at the end of uh, The Angels Take Manhattan when he's, when he's reading the letter from Amy, and she says, don't be alone, Doctor, never be alone. And I think, I think that's so important for him. And so hopefully now mm. she's reignited that sort of curiosity that he, that he has about the universe, and, 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 and she's something impossible to him, and that is always a sort of... So he know, doesn't know... What, he, no, what no. She, so she, her, the mystery of who she is, I feel, is a big thread, seems yeah. to be a big thread. Yeah, 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 it really is. And, and, and it, it was a big thread for us when we were shooting as well, because Stephen, as most of you know, keeps everything from us. And, yeah. and uh, it was one of those, just tell me, what, yeah. uh, what's, what's going on? Do you know now? Do you, have you, have now you, I know. Oh, OK. And obviously I can't say a no, thing. But no, no. I'm not trying to lead you to say sure, anything. Sure, no. No, no. Um, now, the thing that, people, that Stephen says about all these, these episodes is that everyone's a big, wants everyone to be a big movie, a big mm. kind of like... Does it feel like the way to you? Does it feel when you're making it that each one is a big kind of thing that you're making? Yeah, because every two weeks, your world changes so categorically. So f if we take this one, for instance, we were in London and we had Celia Imri, and then two weeks later, we did a sort of alien, a big alien planet mm. Neil Cross episode and had like... 40 different prosthetic monsters in different heads and then and then they built a full to size submarine wow. and flooded it and filled it with water and then you have well then there's the and then there's and then we did a ghost story and we were in forests the whole time mm. um you know with, with uh, and, and, and so every two weeks the world around you is changing so much the sets are changing so much the actors coming in and yeah. and, and you're literally going from the past to the future from the past to the future to present day from the past and that's why i think and actually i was doing an interview earlier today and someone said to me why do you think it's made it to 50 and i said well for that very conceit that every yeah. week it can change so entirely 
Yeah, yeah anything can happen. Yeah, we anywhere in time and space, yeah. any yeah. time you want to go. And yeah. Yeah. you talked about the the, the ke- getting the chemistry right with Jenna Louise and talking about you talked about the Catherine Hepburn Spencer Tracy movies mm. that I think you suggested. And it, was it it was it difficult to get to that point where you were zipping back and forward? Because there's a brilliant I thought in the Christmas special when you're when she's climbing up that thing and she's and yeah. there's a great sort banter, bickering, bickering yeah. very quick between the two of you. Was it hard to get to that rhythm or was it something that quite easily you No, I mean, she had a very instinctual response to Stephen's writing, which is so rhythmic and so much about the way you approach his rhythms. Um, um, And she got that innately very quickly. But I think, and it was the same with me and Karen, we were sort of two months in and we were going, look, you know, we need to get, this needs to be better. We need to push each other more as actors. We need to get to a place. But it's such a weird thing, Doctor Who, because you do sort of two auditions with the companion yeah and then you go on set and they're like have instant chemistry right and yeah like with anything like with any chemistry creatively you, it's something you have to work at it's yeah. not just a sort of thing or it can be or it can't be i mean it's um and she's so hard working and detailed and and uh yeah and i think hopefully throughout the series you see a sort of progression with me in general mm. of, of and and also for the doctor you know he was so entwined with the ponds absolutely there's something he's become a bit harder well, he I was think. quite at the, at the beginning of the Christmas episode. He was quite miserable and down and all that. But mm. by the end, he seemed to be back. Yeah, again, he's easy. He, he seems to be oh, back fully back. in the game. Yeah, and 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 he's mad again. Yes, good. You know, he's turning up in like stupid clothes, and she's like, "You're a nut job. What are you doing? Go away." He's like, "Come on." Yeah, we want Mad Doctor definitely. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah he's yeah. got to be mad and adventurous and curious. Now, looking at the trailer, apart from that, there's loads of exciting things. And the Cybermen are back. Cybermen are back. Start, in a Neil Gaiman episode. Neil Gaiman episode. Yeah, incredibly exciting. Yeah, I'm. I have to say, out of everything, I'm exci- just this title, Journey to the Centre of the TARDIS. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that's an exciting one. That's pretty good there, isn't it? Mm, yeah, I really wanted to see the Doctor's bedroom, and we didn't. Oh. I know, right? Wouldn't that be great? Bathroom? Do you see? Wouldn't that be great? That would be great. I thought that he'd have, like, a sort of a space safari park in there as yeah. well where he's, where he's collated sort of mad animals throughout the universe who sort of just hang around but what's, <laughs> what's really exciting about the episode I think is it isn't, it's not all walls and corridors you oh, know, okay. there's, there's different parts to oh. the TARDIS oh. because we had a lot of TARDIS action in, in The Doctor's Wife of course The Doctor's Wife we which did is but this is something different this is more are we going to get more of a physical idea well, I'm not getting you to spoil anything yeah. but more of a and it's more about you sort of learn a bit more about who the TARDIS is wow. without giving too much away right. and, what, and what effect she can have on the shape of that yeah. spaceship. Yeah, yeah. Um, do you have a preference over... Because well, obviously certain ep- this, this first episode is set in the present. Yeah. Loads of episodes set in the future, loads of some in the past. Do you, have, do, you have, do you get excited about any of those particular ways of doing yeah, it? Yeah, I tend to like the past and the future yeah. ones. Yeah. The present's cool. Well, yeah. But you're just like, oh, I'm just I'm filming in a house. Yeah. But, they don't, like, yeah. but, you know, for this alien episode, I hope I'm not giving too much away here, but they built a whole market oh, and okay. there's all these mad, nuts aliens sort of walking around everywhere and, and things like that remind you that you're making Doctor Who. Yeah, you know? That does sound good. Yeah, it when was fab. We're all, obviously, I think everyone in this room, ev- I'm t- including the whole store, I don't even know if there's anyone here, <laughs> not here to see you, but we're all obsessed with the show mm. and we're fans and, we're, you know, people, I'm sure, go on forums talking about it. Is there, is there, was there a show when you were growing up, or even now, that you're as obsessed with as people we yeah. are with Doctor Who? R- recently, I mean, I, it's, I love Breaking Bad, obviously. Oh. That's amazing, right? And um, do you know what I'm loving at the moment? Go on. And I'm on... I've got episode 12 to watch on Friday, The Walking Dead. Oh, yeah, brilliant. No. Season three, yeah. right? Yeah. And when I, I don't want to give too much away, but you know, someone had a baby. And when that whole, th- and I was like, no, <laughs> that can't happen. No way. Yeah. And then, you know, like other characters who, that I've met recently who maybe I haven't seen for a while, I was like, no. Yeah. And I'm very think, good at that. Yeah. yeah. Andy Lincoln's really great. Dave Morrissey's really yeah, great. I just saw Dave Morrissey, yeah. Legend. Where, where, where? Yeah, at the South Bank Show Awards. Oh. And Benedict Cumberbatch was there as well. Oh. Let me just say that. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. old team yeah. back together. Yeah, you know, I'm just not throwing those names out. Yeah, he starts Sherlocking soon. Absolutely, yeah. 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 Presumably you have to watch Sherlock because you're, yeah. you know, you're the moth's mate. You have yeah, to, of course. Yeah. Do you and Mark's mate and Ben's oh, of mate. Of course, yeah. I love it. I mean, it, but that's no hardship. I no. love Sherlock. No, it's amazing. But yeah. what's good is this time is... Uh, and it's never happened before, but for the first time, Sherlock and Doctor Who are filming at exactly yes. the same time in yes. Cardiff. So I'll see Martin and, and yeah. Ben and everyone. Yeah. So you're filming the 50th special 50 yeah. in next month, in April. Yeah, in two weeks. Yeah. So you must have read the script now. I read it yesterday. 
Anything? Uh, oh, uh, man, alive. I mean... Do you want to give... <laughs> I, won't ask you, I won't ask you to spoil any of the actual scenes or anything, but who's in the cast list? Just, just tell us that. <laughs> Me? Yeah. Jenna? Yeah. Oh, OK. That's it. You'll find out. You'll have to wait and see. But you won't be disappointed. Did, really? Oh, you won't be disappointed? Let's just let that sink in for a minute. Um, well, did you know who was in the cast list before you read the script? Yeah, I've known for ages. Have you? Oh. Yeah. Of course. course. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just lie to you all the time. Yeah. No, 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 I don't. No, I mean, you know, these things are always sort of on the edge and you don't know who's in it. And, and you know what? I don't know who's in the cast just yet because it hasn't been officially cast. So we wait and see. But what he's written is, I think, just spellbinding. I think it's one of the best ever, ever, wow. ever. Wow. And, you know, there's parts of it in mad 3D and stuff. It's, oh, it's yeah, it's all in being th in 3D. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and, but what he's done with that idea is really clever. It's not just... He's not just throwing things at the screen. It's Stephen Moffat's approach. And he's, he's been waiting to write this script forever. Yeah, yeah. You know, and, and uh, I think he's really done it justice. When you got the role, Same. all those, you know, a few years ago now, did, you, did, you, did it occur to you at one point, oh, actually, I might be the Doctor in the 50th anniversary? Year. No, weirdly it didn't, because I, it... You know, it was sort of four years away. Yeah. But to be it now is, uh, yeah, I feel very privileged at that. Yeah, yeah it's extraordinary. It's cool, man. It? Yeah, yeah. Anything else you want to say about that episode? So, is it one episode? Can you say that? Can you? How much can you say? No, it, it, it's a whole. No, yeah, it's it's one one-off piece. Okay. But um, piece, good word. Yeah, but you know, there are elements to it which are different okay. to normal episodes. Oh. And I won't go into too much detail, but good. I think as... So, therefore, when you combine all the elements that are different, yeah. it's not just an episode of Doctor Who, it's something else. It's something bigger and greater and more exciting. And I think... I mean, I read it and I sort of just... It's funny as well. It's so funny. Oh, when you get the script, specifically from, from the moth, mm. do, you ever th do you ever read it? I mean, people say... I'm sorry, I'm calling him the moth. Yeah, like that's what he yeah. is. I'm just, I'm just the doing moth. that. Some people have said they're, they're quite complicated and, you know, I mean, and I, I love the complicated yeah, thing, yeah, you yeah. have to pay attention. But yeah. do you read them ever and go, oh, hold on, I'm not sure if I understand what's going on there? Do you, or do you, do you get what he's getting at most of the yeah, time? Yeah, I, I get it most of the time because I read them, I read them in a way, with, you know, I pay great attention mm. and, um, and, I, and I try and notice that he does. And then if there's something in page 60 that I go, I look back at page 30 and I connect it. And, right. and, and, and it's right. my job to connect the dots, right. do you know what I mean? And, yeah. and, uh, and people do say that they're complicated, but for my money, would we want a Doctor Who that isn't complicated? No. Would we want no. it that isn't sort of sciencey wincey and wibbly and strange and yeah. mad and different times and, 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 and that, you know, that wives that are from the future that you don't know? I mean, he plays with time and no. the central idea of time and structure, unlike anyone I know. And for, you know, for my money, I, I think, great. Yeah, should no, challenge us. Yeah. And, yeah. well, you know, and there's such a tendency nowadays to dumb everything down. Mm. And, and, and people say, is it too complicated for children? But, you know, uh, when children watch The Simpsons, do they get all of it? No, they get the bits that they mm. enjoy. And, yeah. and, and I think it's similar with Doctor yeah. Who. And it's so ambitious, isn't it? It's so bold and big and ambitious mm. that it's almost like that's part of the whole deal, I think, that people now expect, that, expect it to be. Yeah, yeah. And if it was, you know... Uh, yeah. yeah, I mean, I think, it's, I think he's... For my money, the best around, you know. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, and you are going off soon to film. Um, by the way, I'll be throwing open to you guys shortly, so get ready with any questions you've got. Um, but you're going off shortly to appear in a big Hollywood film, aren't you? Um, yeah, well, I consider it to be a big Hollywood well, film. Ryan Gosling. Gosling's first directorial directorial film. Yeah, and yeah, you yeah. are. The big lead role. So what? I'm not no, the big lead not? role. Oh, okay. No, that's a myth. That's oh, okay. a complete myth. I, I, I have a wonderful part in what I think is a really exciting and extraordinary film, um, and I think he's an exciting and similarly extraordinary guy. You know, he's he's full of brilliant ideas. He has great passion, great enthusiasm, and I'm, I feel very privileged to be going to work with him because I I admire him as an actor. You know, yeah. um, and I read his script and I loved it. So. Yeah, it'll, it'll be it'll be fun. I hope. So you met up with him, and he gave you he gave you the role after. Yeah, the yeah. Out, we yeah. we I did an audition with him in New York, and and you know, and then you know, a few days go by, and you wait for a phone call, and sometimes it's yes, sometimes it's no, and in this case, it was it, it was yes, uh, and I'm excited because there's a wonderful cast attached, and and I really loved the film. Right, and, and I love the part. Um, so. 
But this will be the first time you're not filming Doctor Who, won't it? In the in the in these kind of summer months for a long time, I guess. Yeah, no, but I come back. You come and back. Start okay. shooting again on Doctor Who in either August or September. Oh, okay, good. I was just checking. Yeah, that. of course. Yeah. Just checking that fact. Yeah, where's my what? There it is. Um, before I th my, my my last few questions are, are, are kind of very simple things, which I'm sure you've had to ask so many times, but I do always want to know and Absolutely. update it. So, what is your favourite of your episodes so far? Ever. Of your ones, yeah, your ones ever. Wow, yeah. that's it's uh, it's difficult, you know, like because I ha I'm I'm attached to them for different reasons. Yeah, I love the eleventh hour because it was the first one, yeah. and I sort of fell in love with with Amy and 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 I love Karen and Arthur in such such a lot, um, and so I look back on that and I look so I've got so old. Oh come on! <laughs> I bloody have! I've got grey hairs coming through. I tell you. Um, and I really like I like the episodes with James because he's a good laugh. I mean, James Gordon, yeah, yeah. Vincent and the Doctor because because there's so many stories, you know, that are sort of attached to different things. I thought the Angels Take Manhattan was yeah. one to be celebrated. Yeah. yeah. So, but if I had to pick one, yeah, if I could only watch one again, I'd watch the Eleventh Hour. Right. And do you have a moment? Is there was there a scene? That in that, that? Well, no, in general, a scene that you've done that well, you thought, oh, that was, that was a brilliant thing. That was my, that was oh, great gosh, moment. yeah. I mean, again, so many. Um, I think... I don't know. I don't know what that the I've ever shot. Yeah. For yeah. various reasons. Uh, I'm going to have a think about that. Think about it, answer yeah. at the and end no of, the, of the Q&A. Okay. Because uh, that's... Fine. I, you know. That's fine. Yeah. yeah. Well, thanks, What's so. your favourite episode that you're not in? Favourite pre-you episode? Blink. Yeah. Incredible, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah Blink or uh, Tomb of the Cybermen, Troughton. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, which I love. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No. yeah. no. Blink is pretty much one of the best bits of TV ever. Yeah, I think it? it's yeah. sort of brilliant. Yeah. And we've, we've got the Ice Warriors coming back as well oh, this, yes. this season. For those of you that... that Know the old who, and, uh, and, yeah. and they were a Troughton monster, and, and I love Troughton, so it's, it's quite nice. That's exciting, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah I think exciting. so. Well, I've had my say, and it's up to you now. Um, <laughs> so wait for a microphone. There's a lady in the second row was the first person with a hand up. There we are. Don't worry. Hello there. Hi. Hi. Uh, okay, I was just wondering what your favourite book is and why. Oh, good question. Oh. Uh, my favourite book is a book called The Master and the Margarita. Oh, yeah. Which is by a guy called... Bulgakov, who, who, who was a Russian, and it's mad. It's about, it's about a, a guy called Voland, who is the devil, basically, and he comes back to Earth with, with a giant human-sized cat and a very tall man <laughs> called Koryev, and it's, uh, it's, it's magic realism, and I, I love all that sort of stuff. So check it out. We'll, yeah. we'll do. I think they're showing it on Sky Arts at the moment. Yeah, they yeah, are. Yeah, yeah. Read the book, it. though. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Good oh, question. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Great question. A lady just like in front questions. there. I'll go to some men eventually. Hello. I'm asking for my daughter who's in Australia. Right. When are you going to Australia? Yeah. <laughs> it's a very good question. Well, do you know, I hope soon, because I've never been and I really want to go, and there is a real who following out there. So, you know, if, if it can work sometime the, toward the end of Christmas, I imagine, this year or in the, in the following year, 2014, I don't know, that, that would be the window. If, if it, so, fingers crossed. I'd like to make it happen. Thank you. Let's go to the second one. There's a lady just there with a hat. Uh, thank you. Hi, this is Hi. more of an actual uh, Doctor Who question. Yeah. Um, obviously, you're the Doctor, so you play a good character. However, if you could have played any of the villains, who would it be and why? In who? Yeah. Oh, wow, that's a great question. Mm. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> mm, <laughs> you kind of want to go for the master, don't you? But... but mm. You know, I think that's John's, and you, you've got to let that live. Uh, any other villain? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know who I really loved? And if it was a man, because I'd, I'd, and I'd have to play her as a man, I really loved Helen McCrory in The Vampires in Venice. Oh, yeah. yeah. I thought she was great. And that whole Venetian outfit thing, maybe her. She was fun. <laughs> Helen McCrory is brilliant, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Good, very good question. Gentlemen, just behind... In the hoodie, I think it's a hoodie. Yes. <laughs> Hello. Uh, what episode are you most excited about coming up? In the current season. Yeah. Oh, I think I really like. Uh, I mean, the finale is going to be really exciting because you know what comes next is the fiftieth, and boy, oh boy, is there a <laughs> at the end of that. Oh, really? 
Um, so that's really exciting. And there's a great new monster coming up toward the end of the series, which I think will be on par with like the angels and the silence and stuff. It's really creepy. And it's a Moffat monster. <laughs> so it's kind of mad, you know. Um, and I think, cause it, I think there's an episode called The Hider in the House uh, with Dougree Scott, written by Neil Cross, which is like a modern ghost story. And I think that's really good. Thank you. Very good question. The lady in the fez. I mean, if you're going to wear a fez... Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Also, so that's a wonderful thing to say. The lady, yeah, in, the the lady fez. in the fez is just, <laughs> it's just a dream. Yeah. Do you want me to stand up? You, you don't have stand to. up. Let's it's see a costume. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Hurrah. <laughs> um, what's your favourite episode of Sherlock? Mm. <laughs> don't say the back of my please. <laughs> <laughs> or I'll cry. Uh, <laughs> no, my favourite episode of... Sherlock. Well, I, I think for me, it was the very first one I saw just because, and I know that's, you know, I know uh, and when Andy came in, Andy Scott and everything, and the last one of the last season was, was you know, mm. that's got to be up there for me. That was amazing because he's, he's so good in it. But I just, I didn't know what to expect. And then when all the sort of text started coming up on screen and all that, and, and, um, and because, and that was a Moffat one, I think, the first of the first season. I don't know which one it was. Yeah, it was a study in pink. That was it. And also, because I'd read it, because I auditioned for Watson, and, 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 and so it was... I sort of really fell in love with it when I, when I read it, and all that taxi driver oh stuff yeah, was brilliant, brilliant and clever. And yeah. What's your favourite? Um, <laughs> yeah, probably the Reich and <laughs> uh. <laughs> But if, if you were John, would you ship John Locke? <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not... I'm not John. <laughs> <laughs> Do you uh, ship it anyway? Uh, <laughs> brilliant. <laughs> 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 oh, Lord. You're putting him on the spot yeah, now. Yeah, putting him on the well spot. Well done. Well done, <laughs> woman in Fez. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Let's go back to this side. This lady in the front row here. Hello. Uh, uh, first of all, I've just got to say, loving the sock. Thank you very much. <laughs> I love a bold sock. It's a good uh, sock. My question is to do with uh, River Song. Uh, is the character taking an extended vacation or will we be seeing more of her? I couldn't possibly yeah. tell you because I have to kill you, but... <laughs> <laughs> Please don't. Oh, uh, no. Rest assured that I doubt, I doubt we've seen the last of River Song. <laughs> Isn't she great? I love, I mm. love River Song. Yeah. Good question. Yeah. Lady in red. The Lady back, the in red. <laughs> Hi, firstly, Hi. Um, National Youth Theatre. Yes, that's ah. the reason I'm here today. There you go. And um, secondly, on a scale of like from one to the Angels Take Manhattan, how much <laughs> am I going to cry at the 50th anniversary? Oh. <laughs> well, I don't know. I mean, I think you might laugh more than you cry. Are you sure? <laughs> but, you know, there might be a bit of crying in there. <laughs> Actually, there is one moment which, which might shed a tear. I don't know. I think six to seven. But then, you know, there's a new draft out today, which I've got to read. Oh, really? So, yeah, oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Draft two. Draft two, of course. Draft <laughs> one. Draft two. Yeah. Well, I'm, we've only got time for one more question. I'm going for this lady right at the end there, because it's a difficult spot to be spotted in. And she's got Hi. a nice card again. Hello. Hello. Hi. Um, I was wondering if you could do anything else in film other than acting. Is there anything else you would like to try? Direct. And I, I, actually, I, I've just finished directing something, which I, oh. which I cut... And I go into the final sound mix for it tomorrow, and I, I really loved it, actually. It's wonderful. It's gonna What's be that? A, uh, well, it, it, uh, uh, it's called Cargazy, and it's going to be on Sky in May or something, I think. And, um, Was I that one a, of the Playhouse things? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. And I had a really, really thrilling time. It's with a lovely actor called Joe Cole and a lovely actor called Craig Roberts. I don't know oh. if you know any of those. Joe those Cole's guys. in Skins. Yeah, yeah Craig brilliant. was yeah. in Submarine. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, and it's good, so check it out. Yeah, oh, and I, I really loved it, actually. Very yeah. exciting. Uh, that's all we've got time for. I'm really sorry, but thank you all for your brilliant questions. Thanks, and thanks for, for turning coming. up. Thanks as for well. turning up. Yeah, and thanks to, to Matt Smith. Yeah. Right. <laughs>